Welcome to Connected Florida. First of all, I understand what you're wondering here. Where, where is she sitting? What is she doing? Is she on her floor? And the answer is yes. Yes, I am. But I wanted to get this video out today and I'm just going to tell you honestly, my office is off my kitchen and people are cooking very loudly in there and you would not be able to hear me. So here we are. I'm sitting on the floor and thank goodness that I can sit on the floor. You know what I mean if you're a little bit older. All right. Welcome to Connect to Florida. What are we talking about today? You know what we're talking about today? I have gotten a lot of phone calls this week. I don't know if there's something out there in the media or what's exactly going on, but a lot of people are thinking about jumping off the fence this week. A lot of people are talking about it. So I thought we would kind of discuss, just kind of have a candid conversation about what I am seeing in the marketplace that I work specifically. Now, you will find that I talk a lot about the entire state of Florida because Florida is not that big of a state, at least in terms of what I work. I work really the resort areas. So we're talking about up and down both coasts and kind of the center where Orlando is because that gets a little resorty as well. There's all kinds of life around those areas as well, but that's not so much where my area of expertise is. I am more of a second home or a relocation agent. So most of the people that I'm talking to, they're going to be snowbirds or they're done. They're leaving their state for good. They're coming predominantly from Chicago, New York, a lot from Ohio, a lot from Canada. There are specific areas that we get migration to, and I love it. I love talking to people all over the country, but the people that I mainly speak to, like I said, their home is going to be a want and not a need. They're not being relocated here for a job. Maybe they can work remotely and they've decided they want to live in Florida. And I love that. So let's talk about, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? What's going on with this? So I will say yes and no. Let's talk about selling first. Is it a good time to sell in Florida? And in my opinion, it is. Why do I think that? Now, again, I am speaking to coastal Florida and resort Florida. The reason that I think it's a good time to sell is, as I've said, and I say it all the time on my videos, I do think we are in a walk back. I do think many of the communities are going to take a walk back. Some of them significant, some of them maybe just pennies on the dollar. But I do think every single one of them will take a walk back. Now, you might say, well, what's the difference? Which ones, what, differ what differentiates which ones will take the big steps back and which ones will take the small steps back? So the communities that are rare finds, and by that I mean on the water. If you are on the water and you're in, let's say, Port Royal, which is really, really, I mean, you can't even get in there. They're going to open at about 15 million. So if you're on the water, you're on Lido Key, you're on Siesta Key with a house right in the sand, you're in Naples, downtown Naples, and you're walking distance of the beaches. Those are hard to come by. That is real estate that is very hard to come by. So to some degree, those folks name their price and you're either going to pay for it or you're not. So that is kind of a different breed. Everybody else is probably going to see a walk back that is fairly significant. So I would say everybody else is probably going to see between a 3 and a 5% walk back. And yes, there's a little bit of crystal ball going on there. What am I basing that on? I am basing that on numbers that are pre-COVID because what I think is that most communities are going to walk back to pre-COVID numbers. So if you're thinking about selling and you're going to have that kind of walk back, I'm going to use my usual example, which is Benita National. They are seeing $100,000, $150,000 reductions in condos. And I mean condos that are priced at like, $450,000 right now, $400,000, where they were seeing numbers at five fifty dollars and higher. Now they're adjusting back down to pre-COVID numbers. So I'm going to use my usual community that I always use as an example, Benita National, that is a golf course community. 
they saw such a leap in numbers by I'm talking about a hundred to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that would have equated to about a thirty percent increase over COVID. That was not sustainable. And we're watching that walk back to pre-COVID numbers. So if you bought during the time period of COVID and now you want to sell, you could be oh, in no. a difficult position. That is specific to Benita National. So what I always say is you need to make sure you're working with a good agent that knows the area and knows communities. I'm not saying you have to work with an agent that only sells in one community because that isn't good either. But you do have to have somebody that is willing to look at what the numbers look like now and pre-COVID numbers because that is probably going to tell you where we're going to land. So if you're thinking about selling and your neighborhood is currently sitting well above pre-COVID numbers, you should sell if selling is in your future. Because if you're thinking, well, I didn't really want to sell this year, but I was thinking about selling next year, you're probably going to leave a significant amount of money on the table. So if you're thinking about selling, now is a good time to do it. Well, what about purchasing? Is it a good time to purchase? I'm not going to change my thought process on what we just talked about. Now you're the buyer in that same scenario. So if the prices are going to walk back, do you want to buy right now? I don't. I don't. I want to wait. So if I have something to sell, I'm going to sell it now in these areas. But if I then want to turn around and buy, I am probably going to rent because rentals are coming down. There's so many rentals that they are coming down. Buy a lot? No, but they are coming down. If you've got a community, let's say you target Benita National, you want to go rent in there because it is a beautiful community, by the way. I'm not saying anything bad about it. It is a beautiful community. But right now, at the filming of this video, there is currently 175 rentals available. 175. Do you think you've got some motivated landlords in there that'll give you a good rate on your rental? Yeah, so do I. So you sell at the highest number we think you can get right now. You rent for three months. We watch it. We let it move into the warmer season, the summer season, the off season. Now you're in a position to get better pricing. So that is my suggestion. If you think you're ready to sell or you're going to sell in the near future, let's do that. Let's get prepared. If you're going to buy, let's sit back. Let's wait, let's watch, and let's see what the market does.